Good afternoon, Sierra Hughes. Today is Tuesday, March 7th, 2017. I'm Claudia Belafato with today's news brief. Congressman John Katko spoke with over 70 protesters yesterday. Protesters demanded that Katko hold a public town hall event before his six-week stint in Washington, D.C. Residents asked Katko why he had time to attend a fundraiser. Katko told protesters he would make himself more available. And the JCC in DeWitt was under lockdown again today. Workers received a threatening phone call just before 10 this morning. The DeWitt JCC already received two bomb threats in January. Governor Cuomo responded to the JCC threats in DeWitt, Brighton and Rochester that took place today. He says that any threat is an attack to everyone. Alabama lawmakers are preparing to impeach Governor Robert Bentley. Bentley is accused of having an affair with a married woman 30 years younger than him after phone calls between the two were found. The Alabama House Ethics Committee met to discuss impeachment this morning, while the Attorney General looked into a criminal investigation. Bentley has denied sleeping with the woman. Chance the Rapper announced that he is donating $1 million to Chicago schools today for arts and music programs. The rapper also challenged big corporations across the nation to match his efforts. Chicago schools have been threatened with early closure due to funding shortages. Chance, a Chicago native, criticized the Illinois governor for his lack of action. And as we take a look outside, the rain is not something to be missed. Temperatures stayed in low 50s today, and we can expect tomorrow to look very similar. Klot Malabad will have the full weather forecast at 6. Thanks for watching your Citrus TV News Brief. I'm Claudia Balafato. Have a great night, Syracuse.